This is Andrew from CMU Apps. In this tutorial, we're going to look at saving settings and preferences in something called NS User Defaults. So we're just going to create a new project here, just a single view application. And we're going to name it User Defaults Tutorial. Go next. Go create. So the first thing we want to do is go on over to the storyboard. We want to add two controls to it. So the first one is going to be a segmented control. So put that on here. And the second one is going to be a button. So drag that onto here. So this button's going to be saved. So rename it save or save our settings. And change the checks color to black because we're going to be implementing a setting that changes and loads the background color from this control up here. So basically what we want to add three segments in here. And so for the text we'll do red, blue and green. So select this and what we'll want to do Let's just scroll down. I'll set the background color to white because it's transparent at the moment. So I'll just make it easier to read later on when we change the background color. So the user's going to be able to click on red, blue, or green to change the background color. And then if they want, they can save the background color so it will reload the next time the user launches the application. So go to the assistant editor, drag this control over to here. We're going to create an IB outlet called seg color. What color it is. And also drag it back over again, but this time we're going to do an action. And we're going to name that act color. We do the same for the save button. Do an IB action and do button save. Connect that off. Now we'll close that down. We'll go to our view control and we'll do the code now. So any sort of data can be saved in NS user defaults. So string, integer, arrays, etc. can be saved. If you're saving a large amount of data, you should look at something like a SQL database, saving it in iCloud or a cloud service such as PASS, the user defaults is better use of small amounts of information such as in app settings and preferences. So first of all, what we're gonna do, we're gonna set it up so we can just change the color at first. So just to show you what that thing does to get the color, we can do print line seg color selected segment index. This will just give us some information to how the control actually works. And to actually switch to color, what we want to do is do a switch bracket seg color dot selected segment index. We'll do case zero. So this zero means just the first item, which is the red color. Let's do self dot background color equals UI color dot red color. In case one self dot view dot background color plus UI color dot blue color, I believe it was. In case and two. Do self dot view dot background color plus UI color dot green color. We'll also do default in case for whatever reason there's another value there and we haven't set it up. We'll just set it to zero to self dot view dot background color plus UI color dot red color. So just run that to show you an example of it.
So if we select blue, the background color goes blue, red goes red, and green goes green. You can also see down in the console here that it, it's printing out the selected items so we can see what values they are. So when we select blue, that will print out one, red will be zero, so we know exactly what we're looking at. So now that we've done that, we're going to add the code to actually save it and also load it up automatically when the user launches the app. So we'll go to our view to load. We'll set that up first. So in here, what we're going to do, we're going to do there BG color number. Make it an int, question mark, equals Okay, just remember I haven't set up one variable which is user default, so we just want to set it up at the top here. Do let user defaults equals ns user defaults dot standard user default. So this user defaults is what we're going to be saving the information to and loading it from. So go back to the view to load we were just doing. And we will go equals user defaults for object for key. So basically a key is a way to reference the value array or whatever you're saving. So our key is going to be PG color. So it's kind of like a file name in a way. So that's the key it's going to be stored in. So to retrieve it, we use that same key value. To override it or save it to it, we use that value again to do as int question mark. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to do if bg color number, just fix that up, is equal to nil. So this will only run if it hasn't been saved yet, because if it's the first time the user launched the app, they'd have no chance to save anything. So we're going to set a default value for them. One, so I'll do bg color number equals one, which is blue, and do user defaults dot set object. The value will be bg color number, which is one, and four key with the bg color we just done. So we'll save the number one value. So now that we've done that. Once it's got the value or set it, if there was no default, we're just going to copy this switch back into here to change the color for the user. So that will change it to whatever it was saved as. So for button save, what we do to save the value, we go let bg color number equals seg color dot selected segment index user default dot set object bg color number 4k bg color now that will save automatically in the background but it doesn't necessarily do it straight away so if you want to save it straight away you do user defaults dot synchronize so that will save it straight away, otherwise it will just save it when it gets a chance, which will work fine most of the time, but in some cases you may need to find you actually need to synchronize it. So we'll save that and we'll run it. So we'll set the color to green, save that, stop our app, run it, and it hasn't loaded up, so let's just see what's going on in our beauty load. Okay, so I can see the error I've made here in this switch. I'm doing it on the wrong value. It should be switch with BG color number, which is the item we've actually saved and loading it from. Also, do an exclamation mark at the end of it. I will run that. And we can see it's loaded our saved green value. So if we set that to red, go save, stop, and run again. Loads up as red, go blue, go save, stop and run that. It loads up as blue. So you can download the source code below.
and also if you're trying to save a custom class in Swift and you use it default, I'll be making a tutorial for that too, because it's a bit more evolved. I'll place up a link on the screen once that's done. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.